Hey there, Truth Seeker. Welcome to our channel and community where we discuss 13 sign astrology. By including the constellation of Ophiuchus in our readings, we restore this ancient art form to its former glory. Our focus today is the lunar eclipse occurring Sunday, October 29, 2023 at 9.24am New Zealand Daylight Time where we are located. For our friends and followers in the United States, this equates to 4.24pm Eastern Daylight Time, Saturday, October 28. We will spotlight and interpret the Sun and Virgo conjunct Mercury and Mars, together with the Moon and Aries conjunct Jupiter, and briefly touch on the potent Sun-Moon T-square to Vulcanus and Cancer, an explosive, volatile combination. There's a lot going on, with a few moving parts, so let's jump in. Part 1 Introduction We would like to welcome back those returning, our new subscribers and listeners. We appreciate you. My name is David Keratin, I'm a 13 sign astrologer, EDM DJ and Indigo Warrior. Feel free to peruse our playlist linked below. My partner, Sana and I will both narrate this fascinating reading. To help align with your divine design, we encourage you to acquire a personalised 13 sign natal chart. To do so, click the link in the About section at the foot of the page where you will also find our socials. We look forward to hearing from you. Part 2, Aries Moon Conjunct Jupiter We consider the Moon the repository of soul memories and the archetype representing our personal subconsciousness. We identify the moon as an engram, or put another way, an interface that sits between our conscious thinking brain and our soul's memories or impressions gathered from experiences across multiple timelines and planes of existence. Sometimes our soul memories leak or drain into our conscious awareness as fragments or fractals floating in the ether. Many dismiss these sensations as invalid or surreal, yet there is magic in these messages, emerging as they do to help us evolve by reconnecting willingly with our divine past. When soul memories or energies permeate our conscious thinking brain, they can sit there for a while, marinating. At that point, we have a choice to either engage with the memory or suppress it. With the Moon in Aries conjunct Jupiter, it is likely that latent or unrecognised soul memories lodged in our subconsciousness will be amplified and exaggerated. These will be hot memories, seared in our experience as unpleasant, and they will carry a strong charge. Under Aries Moon, these memories or messages from our soul repository can burst with force onto our screens of consciousness in such a way that they cannot be ignored. Part 3, Aries Moon, T-Square Vulcanus in Cancer The Vulcanus archetype, in its broadest sense, represents parent-child dysfunction and alienation. Vulcan was rejected by his mother and family, something he never got over. Consequently, Vulcan carried a massive chip on his shoulder, which he would use in two ways. One is fuel for creativity. He was a master of metallurgy, for example, creating unique, thought-provoking pieces of art. The other way Volkus used his chip was for revenge, for plotting, scheming, undermining and cunning. Volkus and Cancer, the moon's home sign, forming a T-square to the lunar eclipse, signals that an area of focus for some will be parent-child dysfunction. Vulcus in Cancer is a complex, uncomfortable archetype because it inherently involves at least two people in a challenging relationship, sometimes more when family members take sides. It is also likely, given what we have said about the moon being a soul repository, that the erosion of the parent-child relationship in this lifetime is in fact a repetition of an endless cycle that has been left unresolved for many lifetimes. The message here is to seek reconciliation, resolution and restoration, whatever that means for you that are touched by this. It may mean reframing the relationship by rewiring the emotions attached to the underlying experience, 
releasing trauma through integrative therapies and, at a minimum, forgiving both self and the other. Having been through a Vulcanist experience, one thing I strongly recommend is clearing soul contracts in the Akashic Record through quantum commands and deep meditation. Thank you, David. Part 4. Virgo Sun conjunct Mars and Mercury. The beauty of a full moon is that it involves two opposite but equal archetypes, one masculine, the other feminine, in perfect balance. The sun energies are outward-facing and expressive, providing contrast to the inward frequency of the moon. A Virgo sun is grounded, present to the day-to-day realities, not swept away by the imaginary and the mythical. Virgos draw their precision, analytical mind, critical thinking, and management prowess from the patron of the sign, Mercury. The Mercury archetype in one of his guises includes the symbology of two pillars, some call these the twins, yet in mythology the pillars represent darkness and light. When Mercury is in Libra, as he is at this full moon, the message is to walk the middle path. In this context, between the brooding emotional residence of the lunar eclipse and the grounded energies of Virgo, thus ensuring we do not get swept away in a tide of unresolved issues. Mercury reminds us to examine the details, to engage our brains to bring reason and logic into whatever emotional maelstrom might eventuate with an Aries moon. While one part of us might want to fly off the handle and scorch the earth, the other says stop, think, examine and plan your way through meticulously. The Mars archetype is commonly associated with the warrior, However, we think that's too blunt. Mars, at a fundamental level, symbolises acting boldly and confidently. When combined with Mercury, in the context of the emotional pressure coming from the lunar eclipse, these two give us a life-affirming pathway to move forward. Part 5. Virgo Sun T-square Vulcanus David shared earlier about the Vulcanus archetype. When in Cancer... We are talking metaphorically about soul memories expressed as underwater earthquakes and hot thermal geysers that pierce our consciousness. The T-square to Virgo sun is a warning that unresolved memories lodged in our physical bodies can manifest as pain, inflammation, discomfort and dis-ease. This combination could mean physical conflagration or burning issues appearing. It will take all the thinking and analytical skills of Mercury to deal with these scenarios in an orderly, structured way, to see them for what they are, as opportunities to evolve, to overcome and to improve our lives by acknowledging and clearing emotional blocks. Part 6. Summary. As we conclude, let us reflect. What's happening here under a lunar eclipse is that our shadow self can present seemingly out of nowhere. Ghosts of the past can rattle our cage. Under Aries, this can be an abrupt experience, amplified and blown out of all proportion. Vulcanus points to some of these shadow aspects involving parent-child dysfunction. However, that is not the limit of what can happen when emotions run high and soul memories are triggered. Memory, by definition represents the past, yet the discernment here is that these memories may be coming from our soul, the moon, or from our cranium, mercury, or from our bodies, symbolized by Virgo, earth. Shadow or moon aspects are discarded parts of us, crying for the light of awareness. When we do readings, we look at the position of the moon and its aspects, to see what opportunities exist to reconnect with our past lives be they here on earth, imagined, or experienced somewhere else entirely. Why? Because these memories contain information to help us evolve. The moon is a euphemism for shadow consciousness. Shadow is where we discard unpleasant emotional and intellectual vibrations. At a lunar eclipse, some of these memories may come back to you. With that said, I am sure you all know those deja vu moments 
when memories cannot be connected to our soul-called lived experiences in this lifetime. Those are typically soul memories. Aries Moon can be blunt, unyielding and confrontational. If you do run into strong emotions, draw on the discerning mind of Mercury, the determination of Mars and the groundedness of Virgo Sun to keep your wits about you. Thank you for listening. We look forward to your comments. To support our work, you can donate or make a small contribution via the Buy Us A Coffee link below. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe. You may also join us on Telegram or Facebook at David Carrington. Namaste. This has been a production of Star Kittens Media. All rights are reserved.